welcome if you're new here. My name is Mali, and you're all formally invited to tonight's sleepover. I don't want to trauma dump, but I never really had a sleepover with friends growing up. That's like a core memory that I never developed. So we're healing my inner child today, and we're doing that together. We're having the ultimate cozy fall sleepover so that means that we're going to do some fall baking we are gonna read some spooky books i'll talk about my tbr in just a little bit we're gonna watch a brand new fall tv show i've been watching gilmore girls and over the garden wall for the past two three years now i need something else we're obviously gonna stay up as late as possible as well because i really want this video to feel like we're hanging out like we're truly just hanging out in my room having some cozy vibes together, being cozy and talking books. I had a little nap earlier this afternoon, so I should stay up at least until 2 a.m. That's like my max, I think. To start this video, we're gonna go to the grocery store in just a little bit, and we're gonna get some ingredients to do cinnamon rolls. I've been wanting to make cinnamon rolls for such a long time, but it's always been so daunting at how long they take. That being said, I did find a recipe that's quicker and you don't really need to like let anything rest. It's supposed to be done in 40 minutes. So we're gonna do that tonight. Let's get the sleepover started. While the cinnamon rolls are in the oven, I thought we could talk about the books that I want to read in this video with you guys. The first book is actually a Libby Hold and it's titled Nothing But the Rain by Noami Salman. This is a novella and this was actually put on my radar by Leah over on Lover of Pages. So thank you so much, Leah. All I know about this one is that this is a world in which it is always raining and the rain actually makes people forget memories. It could be a recent memory or a long time memory and it sounds really really good i'm really into dystopian fiction right now at the moment so i really want to read this and it's really very short it's only 98 pages so i can definitely read this in one go with you guys so that's the first book the second book we're reading is night bitch by rachel yoder this has been part of my tbr for far too long i don't think that it is necessarily spooky or horror even though it is categorized as horror over on goodreads i know that this is about a woman who's a mother and she starts turning into a dog and it's supposed to be an allegory for motherhood and how fed up she is and every time autumn rolls around i say i'm gonna read it and i never do and this is the autumn that i finally do that so that is the tbr for this video we're gonna start with nothing but the rain but in just a second because I think the cinnamon rolls are done the cinnamon 
cinnamon rolls are done. I have been wanting to make cinnamon rolls for so long. Like it's been part of my fall bucket list. And I'm so happy I made them. I added some pumpkin spice to them, make them a little more fall. Let's try them. Oh my God, I'm so nervous as well. Okay. Mm. It's definitely doughy. It's not as soft and fluffy as some of the cinnamon rolls are, but it has the flavor. It's delicious. This is a solid like seven out of 10. So now that we have our cinnamon rolls, let's read. Okay, so I thought I would give you guys a quick update on Nothing But The Rain just because it is so short. And I'm already on page 30. I'm 27% in and the narration is told through a series of diaries. Our main character is an older lady. She lives alone and she's just writing down the days, trying to remember as much as possible. She didn't mean for it to be a diary, but it turned out that way, of course. And she was the one who found out that the rain makes memories disappear. She's lost quite a few and she's trying not to lose anymore. I really like her voice so far. It's really funny. I really like when a character swears in books. So I think it's funny because that's how my humor is. But yeah, I'm liking this. She has a lot of theories on why the rain makes memories disappear. One of them is aliens and the army, which are valid. So I just finished Nothing But The Rain and oh my god, it was so good. It did so much in just 93 pages. It gets real, real fucked up real soon. Our main character will do absolutely anything to keep living her life of comfort and, and not changing her ways. Really, really good. I, I really like this. I really like this. I definitely recommend nothing but the rain especially since it is so short and now i can add nothing but the rain to my list of books about a world in which it is always raining which has only happened twice now but it's weird that it's happened dystopian novels about the rain i think it's like my favorite subgenre right now so good it is 12 a.m i really want to read night bitch by rachel yoder but i also really want to watch a fall tv show I've been wanting to watch Twin Peaks for a while now. I really want to watch it with you guys. I don't know if it's like the best show to start just because I heard that it's it's weirder as episodes go on and I think it got canceled and everything, but I like the idea that it's a 90s show about a mystery murder. And so we'll watch the first episode, but before we watch the first episode, I am going to make a coffee because it is 12 a.m. and I'm very sleepy and I really highly doubt that I'll stay up so I like to watch the tv show and then start a couple pages of night bitch and then say good night to you and then pick this up again in the morning so I'm gonna make a coffee I really really hope that it doesn't give me tachycardia so we'll see um, it sucks. I took a nap before I started filming this. Honestly, is that reading at night makes me so sleepy. But I'm gonna make some coffee. And I'll come back in a little bit. I will watch Twin Peaks. the first episode of Twin Peaks I'm actually surprised that I finished episode just because 
I'm tired. <laughs> the coffee helped a little bit. It didn't give me tachycardia. It's a wing for me, but I'm a little tired. But the first episode of Twin Peaks, oh my god, it was so good. Um, I definitely want to watch more. I wouldn't say read. I definitely want to watch more of Twin Peaks in the future. Maybe in another vlog, I can watch episode two with you guys. It was good. It was kind of eerie for sure. I really want to know what happens next. Who is Laura's killer? And just what the hell is going on in this small ass town? But yeah, I'm going to pick up Night Bitch in just a moment. I'm going to read a couple of pages and I'm pretty sure I'll fall asleep while reading. So I'll say goodnight here. I'll see you guys in the morning. Hello, Ramona. I mistook you for a dream. The engine glows. And I guess you always see. Good morning. I hope you guys slept well. I hope you guys slept better than me because I know we went to sleep late, but I had a really weird dream that I don't even remember. But I wish it did so I could tell you guys. It was just like one of those really weird dreams where like so many random things happen. I made my coffee because I needed. I woke up at my usual time, which is around 8, 8 30, even though I woke up so late. So I feel like I need a little extra boost this morning. I always have coffee in the mornings. By the way, this is that viral maple syrup latte is going around on tiktok it's like so easy it's just maple syrup your desired amount i put in a good generous amount because i like my coffee sweet and then salt that cuts through the sweetness of the maple syrup and makes it a little more salt and it's delicious and then your usual espresso your milk of choice and i put in some pumpkin spice on top so good anyways reason why i wanted to spend a morning with you guys as well because i think it would be rude to kick you out so suddenly from the sleepover so we're gonna spend the morning together and we're gonna drink our coffee and we're gonna read night bitch i fell asleep like two pages in i kid you not i fell asleep so quickly so i really i really want to read night bitch and get into it properly so we're gonna do that Usually in the mornings, I read for some 40 minutes. I used to do this a lot last year, and I really want to get back into the habit because sometimes I wake up, I have my coffee, and I immediately either scroll on my phone, which is not good, or I start getting into work stuff, like YouTube stuff, and that's also not good, you know? So I'm trying to build up that habit of reading some 40 minutes in the morning uninterrupted so we're gonna do that together afterwards i thought we could grab a sweet treat we're gonna go to this pie shop that opened up recently in my neighborhood and i've been so excited to go they have some fall flavors so i thought we can go there this morning and check it out together and then you guys are allowed to leave the sleepover okay <music> just finished my 40 minutes of reading and i'm now 38 pages into night bitch i really like this so far i really like books on motherhood which is so weird because i'm not a mother and i don't want to be a mother but like that whole experience i really like reading especially because it is so different from myself our narrator is an unnamed woman only referred to as the mother i'm sure it's on purpose just to like solidify she's only there and only seen as a mother so that's really interesting she's already turning into a dog so we'll see how that goes that's our reading done i thought that we could go and get dressed for the pie shop i think i'll bring night bitch with me and read a couple more pages because i really like this so far it's really nice to read easy to read and i want to see where it goes <music> So 
so we are back from our little morning time excursion it's afternoon right now and i didn't go to the pie shop like i wanted to because they were closed i had gone on their instagram to see what flavors they still had and they were closed due to a power outage so that was really sad i did go to another bakery that i wanted to go to because they were advertising cinnamon roll fall flavors like pumpkin spice cookie dough apple cider something like that I got their apple cider spice roll and it was fine. It was okay. It didn't seem like a cinnamon roll at first because I thought it was a bread roll when I first bit into it because I couldn't see any cinnamon inside. Next week, I'll try to go to the pie shop and I'll bring you guys with me. About Night Bitch, I'm still liking it. I only read a couple more pages at the coffee shop I was in. So this is a bookish sleepover video. So I'm just going to end it here because I could keep filming forever, but I'm going to end it here and say thank you so much for watching. I will update you guys on Night Bitch on my reading wrap up at the end of the month. And yeah, this was really, really fun. I hope the cozy vibes were there. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.